Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to this edition of South Texas Slam United Championship Wrestling. My name is Rick Garcia. We're up with a quite a setup right now. Two gentlemen who both claim to be original party animals, the party boy Bacon Johnson and Mr. Wright. My name is Rick Garcia. I am joined at ringside by Thomas Cox. Thomas, welcome. Rick, like I said before, I am here under under against medical advisement. But there is nothing that's going to keep me away from South Texas Slam. There's nothing that's going to keep me away from United Championship Wrestling, not even the order of a doctor. I have seen both of these guys wrestle. Party Boy Bacon Johnson I've known since I've been here in UCW. He's the one that actually brought me into the business. He's the one that actually brought me into the business. I've watched Mr. Wright wrestle one time before. He's a part of the, he's a part of the sinful society with Gabe the Babe. And their manager, Sensational Sal, in the San Antonio area. These guys are gonna. These guys are gonna take Texas by storm before too long. And you're gonna see it right here tonight as Mr. Wright is gonna take on the Party Boy Bacon Johnson. Wow, what an insight, Thomas Cox. Thank you for that bit of information. Well, Mr. Wright, he's up against uh, quite a handful now with the Party Boy Bacon Johnson. Now, say what you want about Bacon Johnson and his unorthodox style, but he is one tough customer in that ring. So Mr. Wright does have his work cut out for him. Quite agile for a big man, party boy Bacon Johnson is. Rick, Bacon Johnson is the perfect wrestler. you got to understand, he has size, but as you can see right here as he's doing the roller dope on Mr. Wright, he has the agility to go ahead and be agile in that ring, even though he's taking a 189-pound advantage against Mr. Wright. Good point, Thomas Cox, a 189-pound advantage. That just goes to show that Mr. Wright is certainly not one to back down, although he is bumping into walking buildings right now in the Party Boy Bacon Johnson. High in the air, and the Party Boy just took Mr. Wright down, lifted him high over six feet high into the air. Oh, I thought Party Boy was going to go after him. Oh, going into his party moves. Mr. Wright does not know what hit him. He might be hot stuff in San Antonio, Texas, but right here in Corpus Christi, he's just learning how to pay his dues against the Party Boy Bacon Johnson. However, do not count out Mr. Wright. He's one tough customer, as is the Party Boy. Mr. Wright has got to get his head back in this game. Party Boy Bacon Johnson has taken control of this matchup, but Mr. Wright has to get back into this match if he's going to beat the 290-pound Party Boy Bacon Johnson. That's exactly right. And, you know, it, it's, it, it just goes to show that in professional wrestling, once you hit heavyweight status, heavyweight status means just that, heavyweight status. Could be 210 pounds, could be 910 pounds. In the Party Boy's case, it is 290 pounds against the 100, almost 200 pounds of Mr. Wright, but not quite. Big boot in the midsection. Uppercuts now by Mr. Wright on the Party Boy Bacon Johnson. Oh, do it a little... little strutting and cutting there, Rick. It was just like the, uh, the barber used to do, the little strutting and cutting there. And I'm not entirely sure that was the wise thing to do. However, Mr. Wright is taking advantage of the opportunity now with continuing working on Party Boy Bacon Johnson. Uppercuts. The thing about Mr. Wright is he's got good ring presence. He knows when his opponent is beat down so where he can show off and then go right back and debilitate an injury to the Party Boy. And he's doing just that. Quite the advantage now on the party boy. Referee, oh, two count, almost a three count on the party boy Bacon Johnson on the part of Mr. Wright. Boy, what a victory that would be, giving up a 180-pound weight advantage and still being victorious over your opponent. This match, one fall, 10-minute time limit. This edition of United Championship Wrestling's South Texas Slam. Glad you're with us. As stated earlier, my name is Rick Garcia along with Thomas Cox. And when you see United Championship Wrestling at coming to your neighborhood, be sure and be there live and in a living color. Look at what's happening in the ring right now, Rick. Both of these guys have a leg lock, and it's going to debilitate both of them to where it's not even going to matter. So I don't even know why both of these guys are trying to wear down the other on the same exact body part. Well, I feel a little, it's kind of like a psychological contest right now, Thomas Cox. Both men just doing open hand slaps on each other. Not real painful but certainly irritating now it's the party boy 
with continued. I'll tell you what, though, Mr. Wright is just not backing down. Oh, my gracious, that could pop a kneecap. That might very well have happened to the party boy. Once again, Rick, ring presence. Ring presence and knowing how to surprise your opponent. That was a that was a great surprise move by Mr. Wright. He took the knee out from underneath Party Boy, and now Mr. Wright is sending the top rope. Party Boy catches him off the top rope. What's he gonna do? Takes him up. Airplane spin. Whoa! 290 pounds dropping hard. Party Boy, the airplane spin into the Samoan drop. Definite, definitely a deadly combination for Mr. Wright. We'll be right back 